G'day, welcome to the Tech Maths Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to check your answers in maths, how to check your addition answers in this particular video. Uh, we're going to be making a whole bunch of videos looking at checking your addition, your subtractions, your divisions and your multiplications and how to make sure you're going to get these right. Now the method for uh, I'd be using for working out whether or not my addition answers were correct is this method through casting out 9. So I'm going to show you how this works. So say we add the following numbers, 3,074, we add 6,017, we add 13,814, we add 1,810, we add 27 to this, and then while we're at it we think, ah, let's add 3,611. So we add all this together, and being utter geniuses, instantly we come out with the answer of 28,350. So how can we check to see that indeed our genius is correct and that we are right on the right track? So we use this method called casting out the nines and this is a really, really simple method. Uh, we do it as follows. First off, we're going to be looking at each one of these numbers here. We're going to be adding the digits of the numbers. But anywhere we see a nine, we can get rid of those. So I'll show you what I mean. Here we're going to be adding 3 and 7 and 4. Now none of those digits together add up to 9, so we're just going to be adding 3 and 7 and 4. So we do that, we get the answer of 14. But with casting at 9, what we're actually after is we're after reducing it to a single digit number. So once again, we do the same thing. We're with a 1 and a 4, we add these together, we get 5. Okay, go to the next number now. 6 and 1 is 7, plus 7 is 14. And 1 and 4 is is 5. Okay, because there was nowhere there we could throw in any 9s, but on 13,814, if you look at this 1, 3, 8, 1, 4, the 1 and 8 here add up to 9. We can cast it away, we can throw it away, so we're left with just adding 3, 1, and 4, which add up to 8. In 1,810, the 1 and the 8 add up to 9. We can get rid of them, we can cast them away, we're left with just a 1. 2 and a 7, these add up to 9, we can cast the whole lot away. 3,611, the 3 and the 6 add up to 9, so we're left with just 1 and 1, which equals 2. So, as far as the things we're adding, this is what we're left with so far. We can again cast out 9s nine, here, and we're going to add our digits here. Cast away the 9s and then add what we have left. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Reduce this even further, and we're left with a 3. Okay, 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, it didn't take that long. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same for our answers here. Is there any uh, any that add up to 9 in here that you can see? No, there's not, unfortunately. Nothing that easy. So 2 and 8 is uh, 10, 13, 18, 21. Okay, just adding as I go along. And 2 and 1, we reduce this, is 3. So what you're going to notice is these two numbers match. And if that's the case, if these two numbers match, you can assume your answer is correct. Okay, note this method is not 100% proof. Okay, it's not 100% proof of a correct answer because maybe our digits here would be in a different order. So we could actually get uh, a 3 here and it wouldn't be 100% necessarily correct. But what it does do is if our answers don't match, it shows that we actually definitely have an error. Okay, so let's have a look at another example of this. I'll get you to do this example, okay? Um, and then practice a few on your own, okay? So let's go to this one here. What about 6,132, 1,874, 19,601, 21,110, 27, 305, and 60,241. And we add all these together, and we get, oh, I'm going to run out of room, I reckon that's what we're going to get, is 109, ooh, what is that? <laughs> we get, oh, we get rid of that, that's what we do. We get 109,290 <laughs> as our total, okay? I'll try to fit a line under that. Ah, oh, yeah, we did pretty well, didn't we? Okay, so now we're going to use casting out nines to check our answers. So let's have a look at 6,132. 
These two numbers add up to 9. We can get rid of them. We're left with 1 plus 2 equals 3. You do the rest. Okay. So hopefully you pause and done the rest. 1 and 8 is 9. So we're left with 7 and 4, which is 11. And 1 and 1 out of 11 is 2. Okay. Get rid of the 9. Then we're left with 1, 6 and 1. These add up to 8. 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. 2 and 7 add up to 9. Get rid of them. 3 and 5 is 8. And 6 and 2 and a 4 and a 1. We can actually get rid of the 6, the 2 and the 1 because they add up to 9 and we're left with a 4. Once again we can start casting out things here. Casting out 9 so we can get rid of that. And we're left with a 3, a 2, an 8 and an 8. Now you, look, you might be able to look at that and say look. 2 and 8 and 8 actually add up to 18, which 9 goes into. You can actually get rid of those two, any number that 9 goes into. But I'm just going to add them normally. 3 and 2 is 5. Uh, 5 is 13. And 21. Okay. 21, 2 and 1. Oh, we should be putting in here a 3, shouldn't we? Because I have to reduce it. So we can cast out 9s down here. And we're left with 1 and 2, which is 3. Our answers match. We've got a pretty good likelihood that our answer here is correct. Okay? So anyway, that's the way you use casting out nines to check your addition answers. It's a really, really great method. Once again, it does not give 100% proof, but it gives a fairly, fairly good uh, you know, likelihood that it's the correct answer. Anyway, hopefully that was of some help. I'm going to be making a video next. Let's be looking at the best methods of subtraction checking. Okay, see ya. Bye.